hello dear students i hope you are fine and i hope you finish all the previous given homeworks so today we started the new lesson lesson 5.4 using motors and buzzers okay motors and buzzers so kindly open the page 54 where you can find your new lesson and don't forget to write this date and day on your books. So as you know, this is the unit number five. We are, we learn about electricity using motors or buzzers. So, so what are the components of simple circuit? Okay, in this lesson, we learn about the components of simple circuit in the previous class we talked about how to make a circuit okay so as you know there are two types of electricity this is the main electricity that is very powerful and uh, you can use electricity from the cells or from the batteries okay So in the previous class, we learned about how to make a circuit. For to making a simple circuit, we need a battery, a battery holder, bulb, the bulb holder, and we need two wires to connect with batteries, okay, to connect with the battery. Then we can make a simple circuit. So try to use make a circuit you need a bulb a battery and a wire so to making a circuit these are the things you need okay so today we talked about uh, cells okay what are the cells positive and negative sorry we learned in the previous class i'm gonna revise for you this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal and there are many kinds of batteries in the market so they have different shape but they work same and they have different powers okay so as you can see we have two pictures the first one as you can see this is the motor and this one is the buzzer so the motor make things spin okay motor make things spin like washing machines okay and uh, the buzzer buzzer make things sound okay so as you can see this is the simple circuit and uh, we add a buzzer when the bulb turn on the buzzer will make sound and the when bulb turn off, the buzzer will not make any sound. So the first one is buzzer, sorry, motor. And the second one is buzzer. This is the motor, make things spin and buzzer make things sound. So here are the three examples. What is motor? Motor make things spin like fan and this camera that can move in different angles and the washing machine that make things spin and we talked about what is a buzzer buzzer make things sound okay like this doorbell okay when you press the button the, the buzzer will make sound and look at the phone when someone call you the phone will ring and make sound and there is alarm clock that wake you up okay that help that helps to wake you up in the morning so these things make sound we call them buzzer so here are the examples so what you're going to do at home this is the activity this one is the washing machine 
and uh, there is a motor that make things move. Now look at this alarm clock. This is the buzzer, CD player. Okay, there is a motor that make the CD spin. And this is the doorbell that make things sound. Okay, we have fan, it's a motor. And look at the car, the toy car. It has also a small motor inside that make the truck, make the car move. Okay, buzzer or motor. So kindly complete this homework on page 28, okay? So today we learned that motors use electricity to make things turn or spin. And buzzers also use electricity to make sound. Thank you so much guys for listening. Try to complete homework. Good luck.